You have now tuned into Insight Sundays, the show that brings you relevant news, youth topics with a new mission and focus for our community. Here is your host, Adrian Nickens. What's going on, Indianapolis? It's your main man, Adrian Nickens, with another edition of Insight Sundays, presented by Harambe Production. As always, we have another dynamic show for you all here in the city of Indianapolis. But right before we do that, we have to give a shout out to all of our sponsors, which is Andrew J. Brown Academy, Buttons and Bowls Hair Salon, Bethesda Southeast Campus, Lighthouse Academy Charter School, Sam Ash Music Store, and Beach Grove Bible Church. In the house today, we have our special guest. Andre Speed, what's up, everybody? Andre Speed is in the house, y'all. We have a dynamic show with a gospel artist, another gospel artist here in the city of Indianapolis. Once again, this show is to broadcast and put on new familiar people here in the city who has been doing their thing for years. And Andre Speed, I'm telling you, is one of them. I've known him for many, many, many years yes, now. Sir. Kind of yes, telling sir. our age a little bit. I know we ain't that old, but we, we starting to get over there. I'll Getting be 30 there. this year. So I, will you be 30? this year. I'm, I'm on my way to 31. <laughs> <laughs> so you beat me last year. It's all right. It's all right. So once again, for all of our listeners out there in the car, if you're getting out of the car, getting ready to step into the house, or for everybody who's already tuned in, tune into us live on Facebook. Once again, that's Facebook at Insight Sundays. Again, that's Facebook at Insight Sundays. Or you can catch us on Instagram at Insight Sundays, Snapchat at Insight Sundays, and Twitter at Insight Sundays, where you can catch our motivational Monday. So let's go ahead and get right into the show again. Leave your comments on Facebook if you are there. If you want to chit chat with Mr. Speed in the house today, we don't take callers, but we do read your comments on Facebook. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Andre, again, I've known you for quite some time, man. So let, let me ask this. What made you want to get into the gospel industry just what made you want to get into the gospel industry well honestly um i i was called to it um since i was a little kid um it's it's all i, I breathe it it's all i ever do um just growing up uh serving in even in ministry at my church at a very young age i was eight years old mm -hmm. and then um time progressed and then by the time i turned 14 i started playing instruments and um took over the youth choir at my old church okay and then um just it just kept blossoming from there like doors kept opening and, and just different things and this is like one of those things where you know that you're called to it when uh you you wake up to it you, you go to sleep with it it's just it's just in you you know well, I, I will say this because I, I remember back in the high school days because we both graduated from from LN, you know, which is Shout Lawrence out. North Shout specifically to Lawrence North. Graduated at 05. You were 05. Too. Yes, we sir. Came out, yeah, we came out the same year. <clears throat> So, by all that being the case, you know, you all, you have always had that spirit about yourself. I, I wasn't exactly where you were when I was 17 and 18. You know, <laughs> I was kind of flip-flopping it a little bit. You know, I, I'm always transparent and honest about myself. I wasn't always where I am right now. And you have always had that spirit about yourself that when you have that aura and that light, people just automatically see it. And you reflect everything of God that is supposed to be uh, holy in his name. And you do represent that, and you've always represented that. So let me ask you this question. Even though it's been since you were at a young age, when did you know God just had a calling for you? Like, you just knew, like, I need to make sure that I do what the Lord tells me to do. When did you know this? Um, honestly, uh, in, in my walk, uh, it, it all kind of started when I was 14 years old, and I think that's when I, I really actually, um, I, I, I knew about God, I loved God, and I, I wanted to know about him, but like when I was 14 years old is when I actually got saved and, and knew what that meant. So gotcha. um, from that point, it was just kind of always feeling God nudging me in that direction. And it's like when you try to sway and do something else, it's like God's like, no, 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 come back over here uh -huh. where, where I'm pushing yeah. you to. So it's yeah. like uh, by the time I probably turned 18 is when I realized, that, you know, this is something that, you know, I can't run from or you know, do something else. It's, it's like, this is what I got to do. So I'm doing, and it's like, when you do things God's way, it's the best way. Every, all the Can't doors. Go wrong, well, so. I'm telling I, and I know from pers personal experience now, when you do it God's way, for all of our young listeners out there, you can do no wrong. And I promise you, door <laughs> after door after door will open up for you. I don't care if it's locked with padlocks. He will create a wrecking ball and That's knock right. the door down. And he will make, now, let me, I want to be 
clear when I say this. He will make space for you. Yes. So do not be frightened when you see something and it just looks like it's just completely taken over mm -hmm. and somebody's been there for years on a job or something like that and you've been, listen, he will make room for That's you. right. I'm telling you, for you and your gift, he will make it. So, if... If, if you're called to be in the gospel ministry, mm -hmm. you know, singing and, and speaking and stuff like that, has he has he talked to you about reaching out in any other way in any forms of other ministries? Like, do you work with youth groups? Do you go out and talk to schools and different things like that to the youth? Or how does that work for you? Um, there, through my journey so far, like, I've always ended up doing something with youth. Um, I've had to speak to uh, youth. Um, I mean, I've done Bible classes. Um, you know, it, it's kind of, I guess it's almost a part of it. I mean, even on the music tip, like doing, you know, youth choirs, like as, uh, in that direction, you know, um, God always tends to make me, uh, run into youth in some way or another. So, you know, when he tells me to do it, I just do it. And I, I just pray that the things that I say to them, um, God speaks through me and, and plants a seed inside of them. But yeah, like it, it, we, I always send them across path with you some way or another so got you got you with well, it i mean that that's awesome man reaching out to our youth in this day and age is uh is very relevant and it's something that does need to be done especially in the form of uh gospel music mm -hmm. and you know gospel hip-hop is kind of how i like to gel together again hip-hop is a culture mm -hmm. and the gospel community or the christian community has now created a new culture with the word of hip-hop mixed with gospel music now i know that you're not a rapper you are a specific singer but your vibe is like a kurt franklin mm -hmm. you know and it reaches and targets that younger audience for them to really soul search themselves when they really listen to your music they may have they may have fun listening to right. it but there is a specific message um, in that song. So let's talk a little bit about that song, okay. Greater. Uh, we're going to, for all of our Facebook Live viewers, or if you want to watch here in just a second, we're going to be playing that song on Facebook. So go ahead and tune in. It's going to be a little later in the show. We will be playing that. So let's talk about that song <clears throat> a little bit and how that came about. I know you had a feature artist on there. What's that song about? Okay, well, Greater, um, over these last few years, like I've seen a lot of people and, and heard a lot of people, you know, really getting discouraged about uh, reaching their dreams and their goals. Mm -hmm. um, even people who I know personally, um, just, you know, wanting to give up, wanting to really just throw in the towel. And the enemy has a way of, uh, of slipping in and, and really trying to discourage people from that and, and, and making them feel like, you know, I'll, I'll never get there or I'll, I'll never be great. And so... Um, that's where the song really came from was to inspire people to let them know that God designed you for greatness. Yes. God is a great that. God and he designed you to do great things. Yes. So uh, just like you said earlier, you know, even the Bible tells us, you know, your gift will make room for you and set you before great men. So mm -hmm. um, on your journey, you're going to run into discouraging things. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to want to give up. Um, but anything that is um, great is, is worth fighting for. And yes. so if God put it in you, Keep going because he's going to provide what you need to get there. He's going to help you along the way of God before you. Who can be against you? Are you sure right no about that? Hey, so to that. Yes. The yes. song is basically designed to to let people know there is greatness in you. That's very you know? true. So um, I, this is I've been waiting to ask this question because I know they're probably watching for all of Andre Speed's family. Hello, hello, hello from Ma Adrian Mickens. <laughs> Once again, we go way back, as they always say. We go way back like four flats on a Cadillac. Yes, sir. I'm telling yes, you, sir. yes, we do. So how has your family influenced you? Um, I know that you were raised just as well as I was mm -hmm. uh, by some prayer warriors. Oh yes. oh, yes. We've been in the midst of the prayer warrior-ness. So <laughs> explain, <laughs> explain how your family has been such an influence on you and keeping you on the right track. Well, um, I, I kind of, I grew up with the best of both worlds. Um, my mom, my mama, she's been, uh, she's been saved since she was nine years old. And then my dad, he, he kind of had the best of both worlds as far as, you know, being saved and, and coming off the street. So um, naturally, in a natural sense, they, they made sure their kids was in line. Like, they you know, they were that, um, I'm your parents, I'm not the mother kid's parents, so, yeah, you know, y'all do what y'all need to do. But as far mm -hmm. as the, the prayer aspect, um, we didn't live in a house where you could, you know, not go to church. Yes. Um, 
it, an option. if you were asleep, <laughs> if you know they come knocking on you, hey, get up, yep. get ready. It wasn't an option. Um, but my mom, she's one of those ones who gets up early in the morning, every morning, 5:30, 6 a.m., and just covers and prays, and and that comes down in our whole bloodline, starting with my my grandmother who prayed us through, and mm-hmm. and my mom and my aunts, and so um, it's just a matter of. Uh, them keeping you and, and training you up in the way you should go. Mm-hmm. And um, we just didn't stray. And I thank God for my, my parents who were praying parents and even my siblings um, that we, we all know God, we all love God, and we cover each other in prayer. And my cousins, like, it's just a family of prayer, really. So Yes, 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 yes. All right, so with all that being said, again, if you're listening, please tune in also with us on Facebook at Insight Sundays. Once again, that's Facebook at Insight Sundays. Catch us on Instagram, Twitter, or Snapchat. Chat. We are going to go on commercial break. When we come back, make sure that you please tune in because we are going to be playing Andre Song Greater live on Facebook here in just a moment. We'll see you guys here in just a second. What's going on, Indianapolis? And welcome back to the number one show in Indianapolis, Insight Sundays. I am here once again with the great Andre Speed, the newest, freshest gospel hip-hop artist here in the city of Indianapolis. We're going to continue on with the show once again. If you want to tune in with us and see what's going on, Tune in to Facebook at Insight Sundays. Once again, that's Facebook at Insight Sundays. Or you can catch us on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter as well. So let's go ahead and get back into the show. Andre, as a producer and as a songwriter, how hard is it to infuse the two? You know, because there is a difference between the two when you have a, you know, you got that track in your head and then you writing and then here comes the writer's block. Or you write a whole entire song, you get to the production, the band ain't playing right. It's like, ah, man, like I, I, I'm lost right now. Like, how do you infuse the two and make sure that your song comes out to be the best product as possible for your fans? Well, as a songwriter, it's, it's important to, when you write a song, for that song to... Um, become the vision that's in your head. Mm -hmm. And so, um, obviously, when you're writing it, you hear that thing. I mean, you feel that thing, um, especially being inspired by God, you know, from God to to your spirit to to a pen and pad, you know. So um, when you hear that that melody, especially, you know, being a musician, it's like, okay, you you know how you want that to go. You know how you want it to flow. So, and uh, I'm glad you actually brought that up. My suggestion to um, songwriters in general is that, you know, if, if you're writing a song and, and you want that to be the best it can be, mm-hmm. you make sure you get with, you know, that band or, or that producer or mm-hmm. whomever mm-hmm. that can bring your vision to life. You know, mm-hmm. don't just settle for saying, oh, this person can play or this person can do this. So let me just go with them. No, find the person that can help you bring your song to, to flourish. And you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. Well, and, and let me ask this follow-up question, too, because I, you use live bands sometimes, do you? Yes. Don't you? Okay. So... How hard? Because I know from a productionary standpoint, mm-hmm. for anybody who has the ambition to be, you know, a gospel singer, to be specific, much like yourself, mm-hmm. how is it? How do you find your band members? You know, and how do you find good band? Because that's the hardest part <laughs> is finding good band members that show up on time. Mm-hmm. How do you do that? I want people to know the real behind the scenes. Um, I would say you your best bet is to start by, you know, listening to and taking notes of those musicians you hear. Um, and the ones that, you know, kind of play towards, you know, your style or what you like and, and, and that, you know, are professional players, Mm -hmm. um, really listen to those guys. And, um, from there, like you just, you know, narrow it down and and then, and pick from there. But, um, any good musician, uh, you gotta be, you know, willing and ready, you know, to, to pay them what they're worth because, you know, they, they, that's their job. Just like whatever you do is your job. You know, (laughs) um, there's more than just showing up and playing, you know what I'm saying? There's, there's practice behind the scenes and. And all of that stuff, but and also you want to get musicians who can see your vision. Yes. Who who can share your heart? Because it's one thing to get with somebody who can play; it's another thing to get with a, a musician that shares your heart. You know what I'm saying? And when that happens, everything just kind of gels together easy. You know. You you hit the nail on the coffin, and I'm so glad that you said that because it works in any part of the industry. If somebody listen up for all of our young listeners, if somebody. Is doing some work for you, you pay that person. And or if you're doing work for somebody, they are to pay you. Don't ever pay somebody who asks you to be in their show. 
Okay? Listen again. Don't ever pay somebody. <laughs> Y'all should see them my producer right now. Don't ever pay somebody who asks you to be in their show. I don't care what it is. Okay? You are the worker. You are the one to get paid. Now, whether or not how elevated you are in the industry, mm -hmm. that will... You know, rate how much you're gonna get paid. Right. You know, if you're not on Kurt Franklin level, you ain't gonna get Kurt Franklin money. Right. But you should get something. I'm just gonna be honest. You should get something um, out of the deal. Mm -hmm. um, so, all that being said, we are going to go ahead and play your track here in just a second. We're gonna take one more commercial break, one more 30 second commercial break. And when we come back, I'm gonna give you guys time to get on Facebook. Once again, that's Facebook at Insight Sunday. So, we're going to play the track greater here in just a second. So, once again, we're gonna go to commercial break. We will see you guys here in just a second. I'm back, Indianapolis, to the hottest show in Indianapolis, once again, of Insight Sundays. In the studio today, we have the great Andre Speed, and we are getting ready to air his song live on Facebook, once again, live on Facebook. Gave you guys a little bit of time to find that. That is Insight Sundays on Facebook. This track is called Greater. Once again, this track is called Greater. And who was the feature artist on this song? The awesome Kim Kenny. Y'all check her out. All right, here we go.
Indianapolis. I hope you guys got a chance to listen to Greatness by Andre Speed on Facebook Live at Insight Sundays. Once again, Greatness by Andre Speed on Facebook Live at Insight Sundays. So, Andre, once again, the song was absolutely phenomenal. Thank it you. was hot. I can tell all the work, the hard work, the sweat, blood, and tears that was put into that. The product is great and it's sweet. I hope everybody goes out there once we give out the information and go purchase and find the song and research Andre Speed because I'm telling you he's a phenomenal artist and he is on his way. Andre, who has been some of your greatest uh, inspirations as far as people that you look up to in the gospel industry? Uh, maybe somebody may not look up to him that you could recommend. Um, well, uh, I several guys who I've always looked up to. Um, John P. Key, I've mm -hmm. always looked up to. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Vashon Mitchell. Um, Dion Kipping, Kirk Franklin, mm -hmm. but my uh, Jonathan Nelson, uh, my ultimate person that I've looked up to like more than anybody is Donald Lawrence. That's like my main, that's my my guy right there. He's a genius. Mm -hmm. So, all right, all right. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up here just a little bit, Andre. For anybody who <clears throat> wants to get in contact with you, but first, if they want to purchase any of your music, where can they find it at? How can they get in touch with you? Okay. Um, you can find Greater on all digital outlets. So iTunes, uh, Amazon Music, Google Play, CD Baby, and, and anywhere you can download music, you can you can go get Greater. Um, and if you want to reach me or get in contact with me, uh, you can catch me on Facebook at Andre Speed Music, mm -hmm. Twitter at Dre Speed, Instagram at Dre Speed, or www.andrespeed.com. Go get that single, y'all. All right, and any social media, any Facebooks, anything, or Instagram, what we got for our younger listeners? Um, so for Instagram, again, Dre Speed, because I know y'all, you know, y'all be on Instagram turning up, Dre Speed, <laughs> <laughs> Twitter, Dre Speed, um, you can go on my Facebook, Andre Speed Music, like you can, you can, on anything you almost can find me is either Dre Speed or Andre Speed Music. All right, so once again, we thank you. Everybody who tuned in today on Facebook Live at Insight Sundays and all of our general listeners on air. Once again, you can find us on all social media platforms, Instagram at Insight Sundays, Snapchat at Insight Sundays, and Twitter at Insight Sundays, where we have a the motivational Mondays to start your week off on the right foot. Also, too, as well, we had a Dr. Martin Luther King Day celebration. If you would like to purchase that DVD from the IELTS, ICLC or Harambe Production, please call 317-650-4685 or get in touch with Soul Hits Communications at gmail.com to get your copy for Black History Month coming up. Once again, we thank all of our listeners. We will check you guys out next week.